this? Oh, yeah. Hey guys, I have something exciting to show you today. It's not something that I've showed before on my channel very much, but I got my first Diamond Art Club diamond painting kit and I'm super excited because I have only tried a diamond painting kit in the past that was subpar. <laughs> so I'm really excited because I know this company is quality so let's open them up. I'm so excited to see what they look like. There's one. And there's two. These are both round diamonds. I've never actually done a square. Like I said, I've only ever done one kind of diamond painting in the past and it was round. Okay, let's start with the smaller one. This one is Wishes by Erica the Goober, and she is someone that I really admire in the art community, and I'm really excited to have some of her artwork as diamond painting. Diamond Art Club officially licenses all of their artwork and pays their artists, so I'm very excited to support that and support Erica. And then this other one I got is The Flight of the Fireflies by Randall Spangler. And he draws these cute little baby dragons, which I guess are called draglings. <laughs> and I just love his style and how bright and rendered everything is. So I'm really excited to work on these. Diamond Art Club has a bunch of his artwork, um, but I love fireflies and this is the one that spoke to me first, so I'm really excited to do this. I thought today I would open these up and unbox them and see how they look inside and what the canvas feels like, because I've heard that the canvas is really nice to handle, and compared with the last one I did, it was pretty rough, so <laughs> let's start with the Wishes one first. If you don't know what diamond painting is, it's kind of like a mix between cross stitch and paint by number. Um, you have a canvas and it's sticky and it comes with little symbols and those symbols tell you where to place the different colored diamond drills and then they sparkle kind of like you see in this picture here in the light and it's really pretty. Looks like there's something else here in the box. Oh, that's the toolkit. And this cute little sticker. I'm thinking about keeping a diamond painting log of when I start them and finish them and which ones I've done because I thought that would just be fun to do. Um, if you haven't tried diamond painting, it's surprisingly addictive. <laughs> I did not realize until I did the first one how much fun it would be. <laughs> so I'm really excited to do more of these. I'm pretty slow at it, but it's still a fun hobby for me. Let's open the toolkit first. So we have a diamond pen. This is the one that I had before from the other kit and it's pretty similar. We've got a little squishy thing to put around it so it's more comfortable to hold. Some extra bags, which I will probably use um, on my leftover drills when I'm done with paintings because I use other storage for the ones I'm working on. Come back here. Oh, and I didn't see this. This is a multi-placer attachment for the other end of this pen. So I think you can place three or four using this tip. 
which is cool because that makes things go faster. <laughs> and then the rest is little heart wax to put into the pen that helps you pick up the diamonds. I've heard the heart wax is good, I've never tried it. And a clear tray with a nice little funnel for easily pouring your beads back into your containers. I'm not going to open this tool kit when I open the other painting because they'll both be the same, I'm sure. Okay, now to the more exciting part, which is the actual canvas. Let's get this out of here. Oh wow, that is really soft. Wow, it's like velvet. I love the scalloped edges on these. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Wow. I'm gonna move my scissors. Ooh, here's all of our drills. This is a little instruction booklet on how to diamond paint, which I already pretty much know how to do. It's pretty straightforward, but there are some tips and tricks that you can use to make your diamond painting look better or be easier. And I found those by searching YouTube for <laughs> tip and trick videos. This is actually a sticker sheet that has all of the labels for the different drills that are in the kit. And you can take these stickers off and put them onto each container that you're using so you know which drill is in which container, which I think is really helpful. I didn't have that with my first one, and I'm really excited to have that for this. And here is another sticker image of, larger image of the artwork. Isn't it gorgeous? I love all the colors in here. Here's a good look at the canvas. I'm going to make it closer so you can kind of see it a little bit better. You can see that all of the symbols look like they're really easy to read, which is nice. I think it'll be easy to place my drills down on there. This is about twice as big as the first one I did, so I'm sure it'll take me longer. <laughs> and then here's all the pretty drills. I'm so excited. Okay. So they kind of come attached together, which makes it easy to store them. And then when you're ready to do the painting, you can detach them and put them into little baggies or whatever storage containers you use. And some of these, oh my gosh, you can see, maybe, <laughs> these have extra sparkles. That's their special Aurora Borealis diamond drills that are um, treated with iridescence so they really shimmer. I don't know if this one, I don't know if this particular painting has just one or more than one. They usually have at least one per diamond painting. Oh, here's another one. So this beautiful white color is extra shimmery. And I am so excited. <laughs> Look at these beautiful colors though. Oh my gosh. You can tell this is right up my alley <laughs> if you know anything about me. <laughs> and this is already laying nice and flat and I haven't even done anything to it. It just naturally unfolds and lays flat, which is really cool. I'm gonna fold this one back up so that we can open the Randall Spangler one next. Okay, on to number two. Let's get this one open. Here's this sticker. Oh, 
such a pretty artwork. You can't really see it in this small format, probably. And the toolkit, so I'll put that aside because we already looked at what's in there. Okie dokie. So this one goes this way. Oh, it's not gonna all fit in my camera. I'll try and slide it so you can see the whole thing, but here's the top. And then, here's the bottom. It has the name of the piece. It has two different legends. I don't think I pointed that out on the other one, but yeah, two different legends. So it's easy to see no matter where you're working. And look at these beautiful draglings. They are so cute. And I love the little glowy fireflies. Here is a better look at the artwork. And the legend for this one. This one's got 40 different colors, which is a few more than the other one. I think the other one had 35 or 36. This one, by the way, is 22 by 22, and the Wishes one is 23.6 by 16.5 inches. So it's a little bit eh, smaller. Let's take a look at our drills. I like that they label which one the bag is. Whew. Oh wow, that's a lot of 939s. <laughs> Lots of pretty, pretty dark blue. Oh, and even more 310. 310 is the black, and it is also really pretty. Looks like we've got the AB gem in the white this time. Oh my gosh, what is this? Look at these! What? It's like crystal gems. I had no idea that was happening. Those are so cool. I can imagine with the crystal gems paired with these white iridescent ones, it's really gonna make things shimmer and sparkle where the fireflies are, so I'm really excited. Okay, so that is it for my very first and definitely not my last Diamond Art Club unboxing. <laughs> if you are interested, maybe let me know down below in the comments which one of these I should start with because I'm kind of torn. <laughs> I'm really excited to do both of them. What do you think I should start with? Let me know. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> It's been so long since I filmed the first part of this video. It's been over a month and I couldn't wait. So I completed one in the meantime. This is the Wishes one by Erica the Goober. And I'm just filming a little bit of a time lapse of the very last square that I finished. And it was so much fun. <laughs> I definitely will be looking forward to doing fireflies one in July. I'm actually taking part in an event that's going on in the diamond painting community which is doing a Randall Spangler diamond painting in July and you have to complete it between July 1st and the end of the month. So I have it all ready to go and it'll be the next one I do after this one. So yes I'm so excited! Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed watching this little unboxing plus the bonus time lapse of a completion and I will show you the finished piece now.
Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.